Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. You know, when we watch the television news, there's so much COVID stuff, so much about world politics and, and strife in different parts of the world. And then every now and again, you, you see a report which just is weird, which, to be honest, is stupid. And uh, we had just one of those things on the news recently in our country where we had a young man who uh, is in court for racially abusing uh, the, for the footballer, the former footballer, Ian Wright, of course, who played uh, for Arsenal and for England. And this young man had racially abused him online. Now, you know what, I'm, at first I'm hearing the news report and I'm thinking this is all sadly too common, you know, that people just get upset at what somebody has said or done and therefore they come out with a load of raci racist nonsense, just, just using words in a way that are designed to hurt. But it's what happened next that just amazed me. And that was, they said that the reason why this young man had uh, abused Ian Wright racially online was because he had been playing a computer game and Ian Wright had been one of the characters in the FIFA soccer computer game that he had lost and he was taking out his anger against Ian Wright. I, I laughed out loud when I heard that. I, I, I mean, you, you know, sometimes people lose their grip on reality and they treat something that is fictional or something that is a game as if it were real life. And there's times in our lives when we've got to just take a step back from it all and get things in perspective. Now, I have to say that one other thing struck me about this news report, and that was Ian Wright's own response, which was that he forgave the young man for the abuse. He said he'd been shocked and he gave a victim impact statement that he had been shocked at the outright racism being directed at him online, but that he forgave the young man and he believed that there was redemption for everybody. And I thought, what a contrast. A contrast between lost in some fantasy world that can't distinguish between reality and a game and a computer image and being so in touch with the reality that underpins and underlies God's creation as to recognize that there is redemption for everybody. And I would just urge you today, you know, we, we live in a society where because of all the stuff that's going on, a lot of people get very angry at each other. Let's not get caught up in the moment like that. But rather, let's just take a step back and say, thank God, even though sometimes uh, people may aggravate us or annoy us or whatever else, we live in a world where God has provided redemption for everybody. And if people do something foolish or, or, or people do something reprehensible, we don't write them off forever because we believe that God can change people and God can turn them around. But that's a lesson that I proclaim many times as a Christian pastor, and I never thought I would be reminded of it by Ian Wright, the footballer. But I thank God that he spoke those words out uh, in his victim impact statement. And so today, let's live in an attitude of forgiveness. Let's live in an attitude of be living in reality. And the fullest reality is, of course, God's word and God's forgiveness and God's redemption. May God bless you today in Jesus' name and join us next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.